Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Klagemauer TV. Did you know that oil and gas are the real motives behind the US warmongering? It's the essential reason which could have compelled the USA to their warmongering sanctions against the Russian president Vladimir Putin finds little attention in the Western media. In 2011, Putin opened an oil and gas exchange in St. Petersburg. There it is traded, detached from the US dollar, with the Russian ruble and the Chinese yuan. Already a number of heads of state have had to pay their detaching from the petrodollar with their lives. We also find that in Sevastopol in Crimea, next to the Russian military fleet, which is stationed there, there are oil and gas pipelines which are used to supply Europe. The USA calls the Russian defense of trading and resource routes an illegal occupation of the Crimea. They leave unmentioned, though, that Russia is paying lease for the harbor and provides the Crimea with gas for less money. Should it come to a war between West and East, then it is not primarily America who has a problem, but we Europeans. Because here, with us, the military conflict would take place. Whoever would like to get an impression of what it means to get involved in such a war, just take a look at pictures from Libya, Syria, Iraq and Afghanistan. It is not politicians and chief editors that get struck by bombs and drones, but as a rule, simple citizens, families, friends and children. Stay tuned.